The law year opened at a high court in Kampala with the judiciary celebrating gains but challenges that have dodged it for years remain. The courts completed over 150,000 cases. More judges were appointed. However, 114,000 cases are pending and thousands of disputes remain unresolved. Courts shall now be required to notify the date of the judgment to the parties immediately after the end of the hearing the case. Deliver of judgment on notice should only be reserved in exceptional circumstances. The Chief Justice, Bart Katureve, also spoke out against corrupt judicial officers, telling them to resign. Each one of us accepted judicial appointment, not because we could not have succeeded in private practice. I think some of us were doing it very well. But we accepted judicial service knowing that we are not going to make money here. We could have stayed there and made the money. So it's no excuse whatsoever, irrespective of the small payment that we get, to engage in corruption because people in private practice are making more money. Katureve, however, appealed for an increase in the pay of the chief registrar, registrars, grade 1 and grade 2 magistrates. He also asked the Ministry of Public Service to effect the increase in the allowances of the lower bench by 10%. The Chief Justice appointed Justice Agustin Nshimye, the judge of the Supreme Court, as an inspector of all courts to ensure that all courts attain the new targets. <laughs> Speaking on the sidelines, Paul Gardenia, the Chief Registrar, responded to the President's criticism of a bail to capital offenders and the perception that the corrupt are handled with kid gloves. Now, on average, an anti-corruption case will take more than two months to hear. And magistrates do about five cases in a month. So you can see, even if they want to work very hard, the complexity of the cases, the large number of witnesses, the multiplicity of applications which people bring, delays some of the 